19 of Why the Nativity, entitled, Why Did the Wise Men Bring Gifts? The child may have been almost two years old. His family continued to make their home in Bethlehem. The town was quiet again, and that allowed Joseph and Mary to upgrade their living conditions to a small house. Soon, the little family would be on the move once more when an angel warned them of approaching danger. Just before that unexpected visit, however, came another one. A knock at the door revealed delegates from a faraway country. Their faces were kind and eager. Their eyes were bright and reverent. They claimed they had traveled for many weeks and at great expense and risk to see the newborn king. What an ornate caravan these wise men must have brought, for they wouldn't have traveled such a great distance alone. And what about those gifts? We don't know the names of the Magi, nor the number of their delegation, but we are told what they brought. Mary and Joseph were unlikely to forget the extravagant substance that were laid at the child's feet. We imagine the first visitor stepped forth and opened his small chest to reveal a breathtaking sight, gold. This gift needed little explanation. Throughout the world, gold was coveted as the most precious of metals, the standard by which all other wealth was measured. That's why it was a royal gift, symbolizing kingship. A gift of gold demonstrated hearts of sacrifice. Now another visitor stepped forward, this time to open a vial. A delicious fragrance permeated the small room the aroma of frankincense, the second of their gifts. This was holy oil, well familiar to anyone who lived near Jerusalem. To sniff its pungency reminded one of a visit to the temple. Its name means whiteness and typifies purity. If gold was a gift that said kingship, frankincense said godliness. Then came the third and final gift as it was opened Mary may have felt a little foreboding shudder. Some of the luxurious aroma of frankincense was now covered by the smell of myrrh. It, too, had a familiar association. Myrrh was an anointing oil used for embalming the dead. It will be the final smell associated with a lost loved one. It was the scent of bereavement. The Magi brought it because it, too, was a precious oil for anointing and a gift valued in any land. John Henry Hopkins Jr. gave us a wonderful description of myrrh in his classic hymn entitled, We Three Kings. It says, myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume, breathes a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone cold tomb. After the gifts were given, we are told, the Magi went home by another way for the purpose of safety. The child would go home by another way too, but he would choose the most terrible of routes. He made a gift of himself to all of us, then returned home to his father. That gift was far more precious than gold or any other substance. As our king, our God, and our sacrificial lamb, he gave us all he had. 